So when you're when you're a Bowerman, you know, we've talked about Grant and Matthew Centrowitz, who got Evan Jaeger, a lot of top American talents on that team. And you you made it to the Olympics. It's not like you're a scrub, but did you feel overshadowed when you were at Bowerman? I think slowly but surely I did. I think um, I, I loved being on Bowerman, but it did slowly start to creep into my psyche that like I'm kind of being uh, the sideshow here. And um, especially with Grant being a lot younger than me and immediately rising to this level of international competition, I was like, well, I don't have a lot of time to do this. I want to rise to that level too. And I think it's possible on Bowerman, certainly, no doubt, the most dominant team in the United States, perhaps in uh, most of the world. But um, I think I'll have more opportunities outside of Bowerman because I'll have more control over where I race, uh, my training, and, and things like that. Well, one of the things Jerry's known for is the workouts are very hard. And a lot of the time, it's essentially, hey, here's the workout for everyone. And if you can keep up, great. And if you can't finish, you know, it's kind of tough. Like, do you think that's, is that your experience? And also like when you're working out with Grant and Mo, I mean, Mo has medaled at multiple championships. Grant's run 1246. Are you getting spit out the back on some of those workouts? And how does that feel? Yeah, well, I was getting spit out on the back because these workouts are so, um, so difficult. Jerry's known for it is this is the workout and them being notoriously hard, right? And uh, it's like, this is what we're doing, everybody. Like, this is what it takes. Jerry Jerry, Jerry truly believes, like, you have to run this split. He has a lot of faith in his, his training, as he should. You have to run this split if you want to be a meddler, right? And so I ended up being, in a lot of situations, running as far as I could in a split or changing um, how far I would go in the middle of a workout so that I could finish the workout. Um, these things that I had to kind of learn on my own and, and Jerry to his credit, like learned to kind of respect how I went about the workout. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that they, their workouts sometimes were outside of my fitness level. I, maybe I would come in, uh, with five days off or something and they would be ready to roll. The workout wasn't changed for that, you know, and I had to kind of do, um, what I thought was right that day. So, it's going to be nice, even work with Mike with three weeks or something, you know, I, I, he will adjust the workout and make me um, see that I'm, I'm making progress. Yeah, I guess like the way Jerry operates, like, were you, were you cool with that? Like, okay, I can understand, you understand his reasoning, like you got to run this split. And if I can't do it, I can't do it. Or were you kind of like, man, I wish it was a little more tailored towards me? No, no, no. I think, I truly think when you are 23 um, and um, you do have to just send it, man. There's a point. Part of the reason why I really liked Jerry coming out of college um, and still like Jerry is he, we had a conversation walking around Nike and he said, you're 23. Like now's the time to see how far you can take it. Like I'm not, I'm going to coach. It's going to take you as far to, I'm going to show people how far they can take themselves. And that was what I wanted. And, and the same, the same, and it's what I want now. It's the same reason why I'm leaving Bowerman because I I still want to see how far I can take it. And sending it in these workouts, I think I, I still want to do, but I want it to be um, sent in a way where I, I'm still progressing. You know, I'm not just hanging. I, these workouts are for me, or, or it's closer to where where I'm at. That's how I feel. Yeah, when you say you were a sideshow within Bowerman, do you mean you're sort of like the workouts weren't designed for you or you're just overlooked in general? Well, I, I think that sounds a little um, petty. I don't think sideshow is the right thing because I, I definitely always felt like I was part of the team. But, on, but when it came to racing and when it came to, um, I guess, publicity and just chances – you know, Grant Fisher is getting um, more chances to race in the Diamond League and Mo is getting more chances to race in the Diamond League. And I've always felt like I can be there if I just get that chance. Um, and so I, I felt like I need to get 
put myself in a situation where I can prove that. Yeah, I, mean, I guess the argument people, you haven't run as fast as them. The Diamond League doesn't want you, right? Like, yeah. But right. then I think that's where you come back to the workouts, right? Like, not, not every runner can just max out every workout. So if that's too much for you, I think it does hurt your development as a runner. If it's the workouts designed for Grant and Mo on that day and you can't do it, you're adapting on the fly. I think one, you still may be able to beat them in a race, but it's going to hurt your development. Is do you, Did you find that to be the case? Is that what you're finding now working with a different coach? Well, it's too early to tell. For, first of all, I've only been four weeks, but I, I've liked it so far. But um, I think when you're really young, you should see how far. Like you just, I, I'm really glad I would push myself and send it in those workouts. Um, but as I, you know, I'm 30 and you know, some of these speed workouts might not be the smartest thing for me to do. Um, but I know myself well enough that when I see uh, someone really fast coming up on me, I'm going to dig a little deeper and try and try and do it. And sometimes that's not the best thing to do as you get older. Um, so I don't really think my development was hurt, but I do think my future could have been had, had I stayed in this situation. One of the comments that you made in our interview on Friday after the race that got a lot of buzz on the Let's Run message boards mm -hmm. was, I'll just read out the quote. It's, Jerry told me, I think you're throwing away your career by leaving. He didn't want me to leave. And I said, hey, I can do this. And I think it's what I have to do. And I'm glad I did. And, you know, some people on the message boards, and there's been a lot of different interpretations of this. So I, I'd like to get some more context on that quote. Was he saying this in a way you know, you're nothing without me. I'm my way, the highway type way, or is it more a I care about you? I don't you want you to make this mistake kind of way. How did how is this conversation? Can you give some context to it? Thank God you asked because it's it. I said it's just kind of an off comment in the in the interview, and I didn't say it like I was mad at him. So um, I think when Jerry Jerry did say that, but what what he meant when I told him I was leaving Bowerman, I didn't have a team. You have to look at it like I didn't have a plan going forward. And Jerry was like, you can't just leave without a plan. Like you're, this is not good. This is not a good idea. And he wasn't alone in thinking that. I think Jer Jerry was genuinely concerned. And he's like, you're just being stubborn. Like, don't, don't do this, you know? Um, and to some degree, he was very, he was right. I was being very stubborn. Um, but uh, he wasn't alone in thinking that, you know, the nicest person in the world, Evan, Evan Jager was like, this is where you're going to be your best. You need to stay on Bowerman. Like my own mom was very conflicted on the situation. I tried to explain to her all the reasons, like I'm getting older and, um, I want to try new training. And, and, um, even my mom is like, okay, but this is not, I don't think this is a good idea until you, until you have a team. And I'm like, I can't, I can't leave. I have to go without a team. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what it came down to. Um, because otherwise I would just be doing Bowerman training and it's harder and harder to leave when you've just been doing work with the team and training with the team and you kind of f fall back in the mold. And so I was like, I have to leave without a plan, <laughs> basically. Um, and trust that, you know, I, I would figure it out. In the meantime, I would uh, work on my own training. When did you first, the thoughts of leaving first sort of enter your mind? Um, I don't really know. I think it was kind of like a slow realization. Um, I think when I was over in Europe racing and I really experienced racing out in Europe this last summer, I was racing in Europe and I was like, this is, this is amazing. I really love doing this and I want to go keep doing this. I want to keep racing in Europe. I want to keep racing in these big races. And I think that that was kind of like a mental shift. Um, there also was just kind of for the last year, I've been struggling with with um, my own issues. You know, my, my family's in a difficult situation. My, my brother's moving back home. My brothers, my other brothers moving to England. My mom is, is widowed and my dad passed away. So it felt like in general that, that I just needed a change in my life to kind of have a different outlook and, and keep pursuing my dreams. So 
it, it's kind of accumulation of things, but I would say probably just last year. And you said on Friday you hadn't had much, you've been playing phone tag with Jerry, but how would you describe your relationship with him right now? Are you guys still on good times? <laughs> I I think so. I mean, have you talked to Jerry? I I think we are on good terms. I've talked to Jerry. You're asking the wrong guy, man. Strange, strangely enough, I do think we're on good terms. You know, I, I Jerry sometimes doesn't. You know, he's not. How can I put this? He's not a touchy feely coach, but he does care. And when he told me he didn't want me to leave Bowerman, it was because he didn't. He really did care about my career. Um, did he Did he go about it the right way? Probably not. Because there's, there's just a piece of that, Jerry, that he's not really good at. But um, I'd say we're on good terms. I mean, the, the man, like, we can't, we can't deny how much history we have together. Like, he made me who I am as a runner right now. And he knows that. Yeah, did he reach out to you after the race? Or who did you hear from from Bowerman? Sort of what was the interaction there? <laughs> They're all happy for me. They're stoked. You know, I mean, they they saw they saw the whole journey last year, the the way that I struggled last year, and the way that I had hot and cold races, and um, the way that it's really hard to leave Bowerman. The way that it was a very hard decision for me to leave. It was like these these guys are my best friends, and I'm so much of my identity is tied into Bowerman, and they were nervous for me too. <laughs> like they're just. I think they were just kind of like, is this really Woody's best decision for Woody? Or is Woody just losing his mind? There, there is always that question. Um, but I've always, you know, I, I think that it wasn't just me losing my mind and, and kind of following my gut. And so that's, um, they were really happy. They are really happy it actually worked out. Yeah, what did you hear from Grant? He just said, mate. <laughs> All he texted me was mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's so i think he was stoked love he loved it <laughs> sounds like grant and you are very close personally than your teammates but when you race him on the track like what is that like how intense is the rivalry you know he i i honestly i think the the rivalry <laughs> i hope it gets bigger you know it's like grant's you guys know grant he's a super nice guy he's not really inflammatory in any way and i'm i'm far less diplomatic um so if there's ever going to be a rivalry I'll, I'll make sure to make it happen but i don't think it's going to happen i don't think grant really cares if i'm honest yeah <laughs> but i do want to beat him well i think usa's will be, it'll be interesting this year for sure uh because suddenly this event the 5000 in the u.s is getting pretty in, pretty interesting you got you you got Grant, if Chalimo's around, that guy's a multi-time medalist. Who knows if he's got another year in him. Abi Noor is suddenly coming up. Maybe Kupatia moves up. I mean, it's it's kind of getting stacked. I mean, it's, it's no joke. I think I saw Drew saying he, he couldn't go to the 5K because it was too deep, right, Drew Hunter? Uh, but, yeah, hey, I I have faith in people who make the team already. That's what I'll say. It is stacked, but... Me and Grant Fisher, if we stay healthy, I, I think that's we're we're forced to be reckoned with, to be sure. Abdi, when you run twelve fifty one, is how much of that is relief? Like, man, I put this big bet on myself that I can do something outside of Bowman, and I just freaking did it, and I totally validated this decision. Like, are you relieved by that? Oh man, it probably was. I don't know if it's out there with making the Olympic team in terms of just the pure uh relief pride and what i you know very proud of what i did um yeah there was just so many things that could have gone wrong if i don't have a good race there maybe nike's no longer even interested in having me an athlete you know having a an athlete leaving jerry and training on his own that doesn't you know maybe they're just like no sorry next year my contract's at the end up to the end of this year uh, but now I'm, I'm confident, like Nike's going to keep me around. So, so there was there was a lot hanging in the balance, and my my family, you know, they they depend on me a lot too to be to succeed. So there was that too. Um, 
it was it was a very big deal. It was a lot of it was a very big deal. And and the crazy part is is after making this change with Mike, it didn't even feel I didn't even feel the pressure like I usually do. Um, I was just like it was just been refreshing being with these guys who are, are super young and like motivated and just very very optimistic and positive and mike just um i like him a lot too we just get along so i didn't even though after the race i thought of like wow this could have gone really bad i wasn't really thinking about that before the race um i was just like we're going to race you know um so that that was nice that was that, maybe that that was the key right there <laughs>